everyone, it's Samantha from Scrap Masters Paradise and I am up on the Pocket Source blog today with a new blog tutorial and this one is all about using Photoshop for making collage prints. So this one I'm going to show you three pictures on one 4x6. In order to do this I had I picked out my three pictures. I've got my dog Maya running towards the camera so there's that one, the middle one, and then a close-up shot. So she's just running, it's just an action shot so they're going to be in order one, two, three and then I just cropped them at two inches by four inches. So I have the crop button highlighted. You can hit C on your keyboard or select the crop tool. It looks like a little square thing. And then my width is two inches, my height is four inches, and then my resolution is 300. And be sure to put in your print quality resolution being 300 pixels per inch, and then your photos will size correctly. Next, I created a new document. I just went to File New, I sized it width, 6 inches, height, 4 inches, and then the resolution is 300 pixels per inch. And I just hit OK, and that's my new photo. I have the same one here, I just titled it Dog Photos. And now all I need to do is go to each one of these layers and add it to that Dog Photos file. So I just have the background layer here, I right click on it and hit Duplicate Layer. I'm going to add it to that Dog Photos layer. There's one. I'm going to go to the next picture and do the same thing. Right click, duplicate layer, and then put it on the dog photos. and Hit OK. And last one. Right click, duplicate layer, add it to the dog photos and hit OK. So all of my photos are now on this dog photos. And since we put the resolution as 300 pixels per inch, the photos are the right size on this 4x6. So you can see the photo in the middle right now is showing up as taking up about a third of the picture, which is what you want. Now I've got to rearrange these. Going back to the cursor select tool, and this is my closest photo of her, so I'm putting it all the way to this side, and it just snapped right to the edges. This one's the middle one, I've got to just move that out of the way and get the other one over on the other side. All right, so there are my three photos all in a row, and now that 4x6 is ready to print. This three photo collage is really good for something that's an action shot like this, or something where your image is really tall and, and narrow, so this worked really good for these photos since you're showing the progression of her running towards the camera. I'm just going to save this, and I'll be ready to print it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out a lot of new videos every week. And check out my blog daily for tutorials and projects every single day. Well, that is all I've got to share with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.